You are welcome, Mr. Governor. Your Excellency. It's Christine Budget of Providence. Mm -hmm. The budget was crafted based on 2019 to 2028 state development plan and 2021 to 2023 medium term sector strategy. Finance and revenue mobilization sector got 37% of the capital expenditure, followed by education sector with 18% and health sector with 17.9%. Agriculture sector is 3, 404, 734, 560 or 5.75%. Economic planning and budget sector is 173035800. The governor apt on the need for taxable adults to perform their civic responsibility to reduce reliance use, on federal allocation. It should be noted that the bulk of the state total revenue for the period under review was received from the federation accounts. The implication of this is that all of us, most especially taxable adults, artisans, transport operators, businessmen and women, we have to support the government in the coming year to explore ways of boosting our internally generated revenue, which is the only reliable source to finance a budget. In other words, revenue, especially IGR, are crucial to ensuring realistic budgets Hence, everybody must be revenue ambassadors in the state. Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Timothy Oweye, urged ministries, departments and agencies to inject new ideas that will bring about more revenue for the state. For us to be able to fund the 2021 budget estimates, our revenue generating agencies must come up with new and citizen-friendly ideas on how to generate more revenue to help us fill the gap. We are also more than willing to help in reviewing laws guiding the mode of operations of these agencies to enhance their delivery. The 2021 appropriation bill is 9 billion naira lesser than the initial 2020 budget before it was reduced to 82 billion naira due to the effect of the coronavirus pandemic. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu.